came to uh, one of the members farm and found out that the farm is all run over run with weeds so I told myself no the crops some of the crops are see not doing very well okay they planted it they are not checking it they are not managing it well but the wish is everywhere so i had to call people that they should come in and help so that we can so i went to keta and bought a group there and went to a community in the dabala bought another group so i have a a total of uh, eight groups, eight, sorry, eight members working here to control the weeds for me. You see, the whole farm is run with, with weeds. And it's supposed to, instead of weeds, we are supposed to have vegetables in between. And we don't have vegetables, we have grasses, a lot of grasses in here. So this group will be helping me to do the clearing. We'll be spending one week here to do the clearing. Then we have some seedlings on the base. You can see some of you can, you can I mean just look up there. You see some of the seedlings there, that is it. They are there. We'll transplant them and you see at the top there, there's more under there. We'll transplant them all in here. So that's how we are going going to go about it. So these are the, the back of us we brought into the project to help us quickly get this place organized and running. Uh, I'm in the sour soap plantation. And the sour soap, I have uh, eight acres of sour soap plantation here. And there's another big part of the land and it's having nothing too. We've done dragon fruit, and you can see it's also doing very well. We got jungle fruit, that's the dragon fruit there. It's also doing very well. See the other one? See, it's another one very close to the pillar. They all do very well. And we planted them on this land. And the land goes down to where you find the cottage. Here, <laughs> we've done. Uh, the coriander and behind the coriander we have a large track of okra in there uh, with ladyfinger okra so there we have all this here and in between here we are going to plant vegetables so we have pepper basil sage uh, parsley um, bell pepper all scattered across we have ginger too here there will be a few pineapple sorry purple also here and this is how we are going to go so all these plantations are going to have vegetables there's no land going to be spared they're going to maximize the use of this land we grow multiple crops this is integrated agroforestry technology we are displaying here and this is the technology that is good for the tropical climate the reason is vegetables need two hours of sunlight we have 10 to 12 hours of sunlight the trees need 8 to 10 hours of sunlight so the tree will provide for those vegetables that have stress the tree will give them a small shade and photosynthesis should be available because when the sun is too hot and they don't have shade they go under stress they go under serious stress and they are not able to do very very well so the intention is for us to have and farmers again have changed their method of farming now they do they don't do whole farming in organic farming we do a lot of whole work Mm. a lot of whole activity goes on. We spend close to six to eight hours 
seriously do well. We don't just come pour it inside and after sprayer like uh, agrochemical we decide and start spraying our land. No, we don't do that here. We don't use fertilizer here, we use compost. So that's basically and these guys are all very young guys and must be motivated. They must be supported in every way. They are helping the cutter group. They are they are helping cutter group, but they are here with me today. Because I called them and told them that I'm having a big problem and they have volunteered to come. And if you see, eight of them are here. Eight of them are here. Uh, eight of them are here. The farm is their work. Let us give them farm. If many of them want to do work, let us support them to do the work and let us pay them very well. And that's the only way we can get the youth back into agriculture. You see the guy in the black t-shirt? That's a friend. It's David. And David is one of the first people I knew. And he, as a matter of fact, he even threw my number away and told me that he doesn't have my number. David, I'm talking about you. Now you collected my number, you threw it away. <laughs> yeah. So, if, and you can see the whole farm. We've almost done like a cutter just this morning. Yes. Okay. Thank you.